three ways that you can rewrite subconscious mind. How did I go from growing up homeless, barely surviving, and then all of a sudden making more than my parents and my grandparents combined? There are only three ways that you can rewrite subconscious mind. Mindset. I had to begin getting new information. That information went way beyond the traditional educational system because based off of that system, it was based off of a assembly line mentality. It was a wage earner mentality. And that mentality is to keep you confined within a system. When we begin to step outside the system, of course, which we're not being taught in school, but when we begin to step outside that system, then we can transcend the system. But again, you got to look at the wage system as a way to keep people employed working for the conglomerates or the large manufacturers to keep them employed. But there was also a mindset that needed to be employed in order to keep a person. And that mindset starts with education. But who's funding the education? But of course, these large conglomerates. I'm not knocking education. I think that we should get as much education as we can. But be mindful of all the sources of education that's available to you today. We have young people that don't have the traditional education who are creating multiple million dollar businesses before the age of 18. They're of the mindset that they can. We're still of the mindset as we get older that there's time that must elapse before we can create any significant amount of wealth or we have to depend upon our retirement or all of these other myths that we've been told in the past. This is changing, and today's young person realized that they can create wealth by simply implementing an ideal and presenting that ideal to the public. And of course, many of these people are sharing with us how to do this. So we have to be open to learning in order to begin to create the next generation of wealth. Scripture says that the sins of the father will be passed down to the third and fourth generation. But later on, it went on to say, listen, no longer say that the children will pay for the sins of the father, but that each person will pay for his or her own sins. Now, how do you pay for your sins or how do you break free of your sins? As you think you are. When you begin to take on new information, new mindset, you'll begin to transform your world. Dr. Lipton gives us three principles of how we begin to transform from a poverty mindset to a wealth mindset. There are only three ways that you can rewrite subconscious mind. And he says, listen, this is not just about money, but anything that you want to change, you can begin changing that thing when you understand these three principles. He says, first and foremost, you can use hypnosis. The first way is through hypnosis. So every night when you go to bed, just when your conscious mind falls asleep, your subconscious mind is in operation. So if you put earphones on as you go to bed and hear a program, it's not going into the conscious mind, but it's going straight into the subconscious mind and can reprogram it. And the best time to use hypnosis in order to bypass your conscious mind and basically to filtrate it immediately to your subconscious mind is sleep affirmations or listening to new programming while you sleep. And what you're going to be listening to are things that are related to the I am statement. Often what we say about I am is that I am links us to the source known as God. What we discover is when we say I am, this is the highest level of manifestation. When you begin to associate things with your I am-ness, your I am self, what you do is link that thing to the allness known as God, whatever you call that infinite intelligence. But when you begin to connect yourself, your true self, your higher self, then what happens is whatever you associate with I am, you're merging or linking I am or your higher self to this. So you say that I'm not smart. Then of course, you're linking God to not being intelligent. You say that I'm brilliant. Then, of course, you're linking God to your brilliance. Whatever you're linking to your I am by way of your inner conversation and your 
verbal conversation, and of course, your imagination. Whatever you're linking to I am, that's what you're linking to your higher self. So the second thing that Dr. Lipton recommends that we do is I am statements. And you do these repeatedly. Repetition, practice, anything you needed to learn, you had to repeat it and repeat it to create a habit. If you're not a happy person, you can say every day, no matter how unhappy you are, you say to yourself repetitively, I am happy, I am happy. Over the day, you keep saying that, guess what? Repetition, habituation will change the program and one day you'll wake up and guess what? Your subconscious mind's already got a I am happy program. At first, when you're making an I am statement, which some will call an affirmation, when you're making this I am statement, you're not gonna believe it. Over a course of time, as you continue to repeat Whatever your new I am statement is, I am smart, I am loved, I am brilliant, I am healthy. As you continue to repeat that, it will begin to rewire your mind to make that your new reality. This is not an overnight solution. This is something that we do continuously. For example, let's say that I am wealthy. At first, you may be coming from a state of impoverishment and you say, well, coach, I don't feel like I'm wealthy. As you continue to repeat your I am statement, I am wealthy, I am rich, I am abundant, your eyes are going to start to be open to new opportunities. You're going to start meeting new people that fall up under the criteria of what it is that you're confessing or affirming in your I am statements. We're told to decree a thing and it shall come to pass. So what are you decreeing morning, noon, and night? The last thing that Dr. Lipton talks about is energy psychology. And I'm not going to go into that because he gives more of that information on his website. So I'll add the link to his website about energy psychology. And lastly, the most effective way to change subconscious programming is through energy psychology. To understand uh, super learning energy psychology and how it works, on my website, brucelipton.com, under resources, I have over 25 different energy psychology modalities that you can review and identify one that feels the best to you because using these new processes, you can rewrite your beliefs and radically change the character of your life in matters of minutes. But bottom line is, these are statements that basically allow you to understand who it is that you are or who it is that you can become. Your spiritual beings having a human experience. Your possibilities are limitless. Once we begin to understand that we are creators of our world and we begin changing our I am statements, as we begin to use the tools of hypnosis. Now, the truth of the matter is we're always being hypnotized. Normally, it's when we're watching a television program and all of a sudden when that program goes off or a commercial break comes on, the advertisers begin to submit to you a new car and they show you a beautiful person, you know, next to that new car or they'll show you a new watch or some food, whatever that thing is that they present to you. Because they know that right now at that moment, you've been open. Your mind has been open because you've been watching this program on autopilot. So you're open to suggestion. The truth of the matter is we're always being programmed. But we're suggesting that you become more conscious what you're allowing into your mindscape. But like I said, go to Dr. Lipton's page and there will be more information on energy psychology. But remember this, creators, that... Only you can create your perfect world, not God or man. Only you can create your perfect world. This is Costa Carlos and have a great and abundant day.